Your glory is above the heavens. Your splendor is revealed through the heavens and the earth. We stand amazed at the gaze of this
Blessed are you, Adonai, our Father, who has made us holy with commandments and who has commanded us to hear the voice of the Shofar. Sunday morning once again to everyone. I'm sorry. So overwhelmed. Sorry. And the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Isaiah 11 verse 2. excited and overwhelmed sa presence ng Panginoon. Uh, supposed to be si Brother Jobs ang andito sa giving. Uh, <clears throat> Nag-message siya ngayon na hindi po siya makakapunta kasi nga lalabas na yung kanyang mama. Thank God for the healing power sa kanyang mama. So, yun nga, ako na pong nandito. So, kanina, a little testimony lang po. Welcome. So po kanina, uh, I asked the Lord, I asked the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, ano po ang gusto mong ipaabot sa mga anak mo sa pagbibigay ng, ng aming tithes, offering, and first fruit ngayong umagang ito. And habang naglalakad ako, uh, the Holy Spirit gives me, gives me the... Binigyan niyo po ako ng word sa scripture ng Malakay. Ito po yung sabi niya. Malakay chapter 3 verses 8 to 10. But you asked, Rabbi talaga sa Spirit, how are we robbing you in tithes and offering? So ang Panginoon, ang message sa atin ay nirarab natin po siya sa pagbibigay ng ating tithes, offering, and first fruits. Yan po ang gusto niyang pinapaabot po sa atin sa umagang ito. In tithes and offering, sabi, you are under a curse, your whole nation, because you are robbing me. So sabi sa Malakay 3.10, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be 
food in my house. So, ang sabi po dito, kung ititest po talaga natin na nagmag-obey po tayo sa pagbibigay sa ating Panginoon, yung terp yung 10% po talaga ay para po sa Kanya. So, wag na po nating babawasan yon. Iset aside po natin yon, kasi yun po para sa Panginoon. Yung mga nagbibigay-bigay kayo, hindi po yun tithes, hindi po yun offering, hindi po yun first put. Set aside po natin yon. Yung offering naman is, halimbawa, yung income mo is 1,000. Set aside yun na po yung 100, kasi 10% is 100. Yung sa offering naman po, above, kasi yung offering is your love to the Lord. Halimbawa, ang tithes mo is 100. Dapat po, mas mataas po yung offering nyo, kasi yung love, dapat ipakita po natin sa ating Panginoon yung love natin sa Kanya. So, dapat is, ano, 100 ang tithes natin, yung offering natin is 200. Ganun po yun. Kasi dapat ipakita po natin sa Pang Panginoon kung gaano po natin siya kalab. So dapat uh, sa ngayon po, kapon ka po, nag-start na po yung sa giving. Uh, grabe po talaga yung presence ng Holy Spirit sa atin kahapon hanggang ngayon. So pinapaabot ng Panginoon sa atin na mag maging Discipline po tayo sa pagbibigay. Maging generous tayo sa pagbibigay. Because God is a generous God. So we are His children. We must be generous to Him. Amen? So especially po sa mga kabataan, yung mga nag-aaral, ang baon nyo is 100 pesos ngaya. So isa-separate nyo na po yun yung 10 pesos for the tithes. And yung sa offering nyo, mas mataas sa tithes. So, ngayon pa lang po ay dinidisiplina na tayo ng Panginoon sa pagbibigay. This is a new beginning to all of us na huwag na tayong maghintay na paluin tayo ng Panginoon. Imbis na pagpapa pagpapala ang marireceive natin sa Panginoon. Amen? Pero naman, sabi ng Panginoon, alam pa din tayo kung hindi tayo magbibigay or magbibigay. Pero, ang sabi nga niya sa Bible, ang turo niya, maging obedient tayo sa pagbibigay. Dahil yan po ang kanyang command, yan po ang kanyang law sa Bible. So, yan po ang reminder po sa atin sa pagbibigay. So, pwede na po natin ibigay yung the best para sa Panginoon because our offering, our tithes, our first, our first foods is holy to the Lord. Amen? So, pwede na po tayo magbigay. Good morning po. Grabe talaga ang excitement ngayong umaga ito kay, kay Lord. Grabe talaga yung hunger sa ating Panginoon. Amen. So let us pray. O Heavenly Father, you are awesome God. You are wonderful God. You are magnificent God. 
Lord, we are so excited to you, Father God, to worship you in spirit and in truth. And right now, Abba Father, we thank you, Lord God, sa pagbibigay namin sa umagang to Father sa iyo, Lord. Please accept our tithes, our offerings, and first, first fruits to you, Father God, because our offering is holy to you, Father God. This is for your kingdom, for your greater glory. Bless the work of the hands of our Father, the students, the businessmen, Father God, and all the families here in Kevin, my Father God. Bless them, Abba Father. To you, we give you all the glory, the praises, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessed morning, po. Sige po, let us open our Bibles po into Isaiah 27, verse 1 to 6. Sige po, let us all read po. In that day, the Lord will take his terrible swift sword and punish the Leviathan, the swiftly moving serpent, the coiling writhing serpent. He will kill the dragon of the sea. In that day, sing about the fruitful vineyard. I, the Lord, will watch over it, watering it carefully. Day and night I will watch so no one can harm it. My anger will be gone. If I find briars and thorns growing, I will attack them. I will burn them up. Unless they turn to me for help, let them make peace with me. The time is coming when Jacob's descendants will take root. Israel will bud and blossom and fill the whole earth with fruit. And let us read po, verse 12 to 13. Po. Yet the time will come when the Lord will gather them together. Like hand-picked grain, one by one he will gather them from the Euphrates River in the east to the book of the Egypt in the west. In that day, the great trumpet will sound. Many who were dying in exile in Assyria and Egypt will return to Jerusalem to worship the Lord on his holy mountain. Amen. Sige po, let us all pray po. His Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, Panginoon, sa mga buhay namin, Lord God. Lord God, we know, Lord God, that you are the one who calms the raging seas, Panginoon. And Lord God, just like how you watch out, Panginoon, sa vineyard, Lord God, may you also tend to our lives, Panginoon, with the same love, with the same affection, Lord God. Lord God, increase our faith, Panginoon. Increase more of our faith, Lord God. And remind us, Panginoon, that indeed you are the great provider, Panginoon. You are our great protector, Panginoon. Lord God, we are not here, Panginoon, because of our, um, of what we have done, Panginoon. We are not here because of, of our achievements in life, Panginoon. We are here, Panginoon, because you are so merciful, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, Panginoon. And we pray, Panginoon, may your peace reign over our lives, Panginoon. Na walang doubts, Lord God, walang worries, Panginoon, magsusurpass, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, Panginoon. And we pray, Panginoon, that as we worship you today, Panginoon, Ikaw lamang yung makita, Lord God, sa mga buhay namin, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord God. We give back to you all the glory, the honor, and the praises. In Jesus' name, Amen. Sige po. Ready na po ba ang lahat na mag-worship sa Panginoon?
it is written in Psalms 145, My heart explodes with praise to you, O God. Now and forever, my heart bows in worship to you, my King and my God. Every day, I will lift up my praise to your name with praises that will last throughout eternity. Lord, you are great and worthy of the highest praise, for there is no end to the discovery of the greatness that surrounds you. Generation after generation will declare more of your greatness and declare more of your glory. Your magnificent splendor and the miracles of your majesty are my constant meditation. Your awe-inspiring acts of power have everyone talking. I'm telling people everywhere about your excellent greatness. Our hearts babble over as we celebrate the fame of your marvelous beauty, bringing peace to our hearts. We shout with ecstatic joy over your breakthrough for us. You are kind and tender-hearted to those who don't deserve it and very patient with people who fail you. Your love is like a flooding river overflowing its banks with kindness. God, everyone sees your goodness. For your tender love is blended into everything you do. Everything you have made will praise you fulfilling its purpose. And all your godly ones will be found bowing before you. They will tell the world of the lavish splendor of your kingdom and preach about your limitless power. They will demonstrate for all to see your miracles of might and reveal the glorious majesty of your kingdom. You are the Lord who reigns over your never-ending kingdom through all the ages of time and eternity. You are faithful to fulfill every promise you've made. You manifest yourself as kindness in all you do. Weak and feeble ones you will sustain. Those men over with burdens of shame you will lift up. You have captured our attention and the eyes of all look to you. You give what they hunger for at just the right time. When you open your generous hand, it's full of blessings, satisfying the longings of every living thing. You are fair and righteous in everything you do, and your love is wrapped into all your works. You draw near to those who call out to you, listening closely, especially when their hearts are true. Every godly one receives even more than what they ask for, for you hear what their hearts really long for, and you bring them to your saving strength. God, watch carefully over all your devoted lovers like a bodyguard, but you will destroy the ungodly. I will praise you, Lord. We will praise you, Lord. Let everyone, every, let everyone everywhere join me in praising the beautiful Lord of holiness from now through eternity. Can we sing again for the chorus? Jesus, you're in the throne. 
adoring you, adoring your beauty in every way, oh God. Let this praise from your people, from your children, oh God, touch your very heart, oh God. Lord, it is our desire, oh God, to put a smile on your face, oh God. Lord, let our praise, oh God, touch your heart, oh Lord Jesus. Let our praise, oh God, move your heart, oh Lord Jesus. Let our praise, oh God, change the atmosphere in this room. Let our praise, oh God, change the atmosphere in this room, oh God. Lord, we praise you, oh God. We thank you, oh Lord Jesus. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for being our God, oh God. Jesus, so great we praise, oh God, so, so great, oh God. Lord, we give you all the highest praises, all the highest honor that we could give, oh God. All the highest praise belongs to you alone, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, our God the Father. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we still Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen. Blessed morning po. So, Yan po. So, blessed morning po ulit. So our, for, for our prayer point number one, uh, pray for the pillar of science and technology. There are AI tools arising and it's much more powerful than we, than we can imagine. New technology that seems a science fiction be, before became a reality today. So short background po dito sa prayer point number one. Um, uh, indeed, talagang ano, uh, we, uh, sobrang fast pace na lang ano natin ng uh, this era um, in fact yung ano yun in fact the ai is ano um, ai skills is already uh, ano uh, ma- kumbaga recognized as a skill to uh, to execute prompts to execute ano uh, to execute some certain commands eh it's ano parang naging ano na siya uh, actually skills na siya na in demand in the marketplace so ano um there are, vid- there are videos na uh, ipipresent ko so, sa para maging context tayo merong AI tools na ano na actually ano as ayun ginagamit na siya as to increase productivity and ginagamit na siya sa, uh, in terms of ano siguro um, to make our lives easier so there are merong mga actually may release si uh, OpenAI na uh, just uh, just using prompts, uh, they can generate live images. Kung baga, hindi, hindi siya joke na images. Talagang super realistic siya. And, ano, um, also, um, if you uh, if you are aware sa news, uh, si Elon Musk uh, already had the uh, first trial sa first, uh, sa uh, human being trial sa ano, Neuralink. So, meron po akong videos yung sa, uh, yung sabi ni. Ito po yung ano, uh, ngayon pong narilist ni OpenAI na uh, Sora AI. Ito po yung mga prompt, ito type mo siya, tapos mag-generate si AI ng mga uh, videos. Super realistic po ba ganyan? Madami siyang ano, may samples dyan. Nakikita nyo.
next po is yung ano po yung sa uh, Neuralink po. Elon Musk's brain science company has Elon implanted, implanted brain a device into a company human has implanted a device the into a human for the first time. The unidentified person received a brain chip, implant Sunday, brain chip quote, implant Sunday, well. and Musk says they are quote recovering well. U.S. Food and Drug Administration has given Neuralink clearance last year to conduct its first trial to test its implant on humans. The move is critical is a critical milestone in the startup's ambitions to help patients with paralysis and other neurological conditions. Neuralink says. The brain chip is designed to allow people to control thinking. almost any device just by thinking. Elon Musk's brain po, science. Um, uh, in summary, po, um, yung Neuralink, you know where this is going. <laughs> so, ano po, um, in, ano siya, super breakthrough siya sa ano. Yung mga na sinoko po sa inyo, it's, it's not yet being released, pero they are planning to. They are planning to release it in public. And sa, may merong mga selected companies na may, ano, um, uh, may access nito. So, ayun po, ano, um, uh, yung sa Neuralink is uh, super beneficial ito, ano, um, in terms siguro sa mga uh, paralysis, mga paralyzed person. Uh, there are indeed, ano, um, good factors nito, pero uh, there are limitless, uh, unthinkable things na pwede mangyari dito. So, ayun po, yung, ano po natin, uh, prayer point, let us pray for wisdom and guidance as we navigate this era of technology. Pray for reformers to arise in this pillar of science and technology who are strategically positioned to est establish that kingdom in the innovation mountain. Pray that this AI and new technologies will be used for the glory of God. Pray for every business and company who are operating in this innovation mountain that they, that they, are, that they will not compromise and use the technology to take advantage to those who are technologically challenged. Pray against misinformation, malicious actors, breach of privacy, and manipulation through technology. Pray that all inventions and innovations that are being birthed right now to come to the Lord, that all people asking will come humbly before God, for all wisdom comes from Him, according to 1 King 3, verse 7 to 9. So let's pray po. Let's group ourselves po to three. Okay po.
Sige po. So, continuation lang po doon na ano. Um, hindi lang po ito yung AI tools na ano. Um, mga, it is just a few example and the latest technology that, ano, pinaproceed niya yun ng, ano, ating world. So, ano, it's sobrang, ano, uh, endless possibility. Imagine you're in a court, tapos watching an evidence na you have, yung di mo na commit. So, and it's very much powerful po. And, ayun, um, It's not, hindi lang ito yung, ano, um, actually, every, may mga ginagamit tayo, uh, aminin natin na hindi, may mga ginagamit tayong AI tools uh, to increase our productivity and to, ano, and to make uh, life easier, kumbaga, kasi pag may mga reports tayo and all. So, ayun, uh, uh, let us pray for this. Sige po. Uh, Lord, maraming salamat for the wisdom that you have put upon uh, the inventors, the, uh, the scientists, Panginoon, That, Lord, uh, lahat ng ito, oh, Panginoon, galing lamang sa iyo, Panginoon. Down to quantum levels, Lord God, to macro levels, Lord God, it, this all came down to you. Thank you, Lord, that you have entrusted us with this knowledge, Panginoon. Lord, we ask, Lord God, for, your, for the Holy Spirit to be upon those pe- people, Lord God, that you have called upon this, uh, upon this pillar of science and technology, Panginoon. That, Lord, uh, may you give them, Panginoon, the guidance, the wisdom, Lord God, that they will need, Lord God, that, Lord, they will not compromise, Panginoon, to anything, Lord God, that, you, that is your will, Lord God, to this technology, to this uh, um, pillar of science and technology. Thank you, Lord, that you have uh, put, Lord God, those, uh, those uh, your children, Lord God, upon these sectors, Panginoon, Lord, uh, hindi lang, Lord God, Uh, dito, Panginoon, but Lord, every companies, Lord God, that you have um, chosen upon, Panginoon, Lord, may you give them, Lord God, the guidance, Panginoon, that Lord, they will not be tempted, Panginoon, to use these tools, Lord God, that uh, na meron ngayon kami, Panginoon, to, uh, to do such malicious things, Panginoon, to do such evil acts, Panginoon, but Lord, right now, Panginoon, intervene, Panginoon, the plans of those great minds ngayon, no, Panginoon, that Lord, may you strike their knees, Panginoon, that they... Uh, that they will come, go, Panginoon, sa iyo, Panginoon, that they will uh, bend their knees to you, humbly asking for your wisdom, Panginoon, and guidance to, uh, to, to, re- to, t- to take responsibility, Lord God, for, uh, for what we have created, Panginoon, ngayon, ngayon. Lord, we ask for your protection, Lord God, to be upon those, uh, especially, Lord God, the elders, Panginoon, those who are not uh, touched, Lord God, by the technology that we are using today, those who are uh, in the tribes, Panginoon, may you Uh, I pray, Lord God, for your protection to be upon them, O Panginoon. Um, indeed, Panginoon, uh, shots, uh, technology, Lord God, high technology, Lord God, is like magic to them, Panginoon. Lord, may you, uh, may you uh, pour down, Lord God, your Holy Spirit upon them, Lord God, that they will, have be, uh, they will be protected, Lord God, in such malicious act, Panginoon, misconfirmations, Panginoon. And Lord, we, we ask for forgiveness, Panginoon, if we have used these things, uh, Lord God, in, in such a wrong way, Panginoon. Uh, we we uh, we ask also Lord God for your protection, Lord God, uh, to uh, to guide us, Panginoon, from uh, from the temptation, Lord God, that we use this, Panginoon, to just um, to to accelerate, Lord God, our 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 task, Lord God. Uh, we've been using it, Lord God, sa mga sermons, Panginoon. We've been using it, Panginoon, sa mga uh, sa mga that really needs, Lord God, uh, uh, your anointing, Panginoon. But because, Lord, this things, Lord God, hindi, uh, Lord God, to nakaka-receive ng anointing, Lord God. But, Lord, it is your people, Lord God, that receives the anointing. Thank you, Lord God, for all these things, Panginoon. May you give us, Lord God, the proper guidance, Panginoon. May you give us the blueprint and strategy, Lord God. Lord, hindi lang to, Lord God, uh, mag-stop dito, Lord God. But, Lord, this will be a bridge, Lord God, to God. Bridge to God, Lord God, na ma-share yung word mo, Panginoon, to proclaim your kingdom, to proclaim, Lord God, your glory, Lord God, upon, the, upon this, upon this uh, world, oh, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord God, for our, for this nation, Panginoon, will not be left behind, Lord God, sa mga technolo- new technologies, Lord God, that will, that will arise, oh, Panginoon. But, Lord, we will uh, help us, Lord God, to cater, Lord God, sa mga uh, paparating, Lord God, na... Uh, Pinapadala mo dito, Lord God, na mga tao to teach, Panginoon, to teach, um, to teach in such technology, Panginoon, to teach such AIs, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord, for all these things. May you be glorified, Lord God, uh, sa, sa bawat buhay, Lord God, na uh, pinot mo, Lord God, into these sectors, Panginoon, to this pillar of innovation, Panginoon. Lord, may you, may you, may you put, Lord God, your kingdom values, Lord God, in every innovators, Lord God, in every 
and every scientist ngayon o Panginoon, Lord, um, they will not compromise. And Lord, everything, uh, we cancel, Lord God, any uh, any abortion, any premature uh, ideas, Lord God, that comes from you, Panginoon. Lord, may they be birthed, Panginoon, healthy, Panginoon, that Lord, uh, these ideas, Lord God, that comes from you, Lord God, to proclaim your gospel, Lord God, and show the glory, Lord God, that this wisdom, Lord God, and knowledge, Lord God, that it only comes from you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for all these things, Lord God. May you be glorified, be magnified. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's declare. We decree and declare wisdom, guidance, creative power that comes from the Lord to be upon those who call to stand in this mountain to, adva- to advance His kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus over every company and businesses who are operating on the pillar of science and technology. We cancel any abortion and premature births of ideas and innovation that is being steered upon the business and company owners to advance his kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. We decree and declare that no works of the enemy will prosper against who are technologically challenged. We declare supernatural wisdom and learning that comes from God. In Jesus' name. Amen. For our prayer point number two po, the Passover and the divine healing and divine favor. Pray for divine healing and divine favor. Let us pray for and praise God for the healing and favor spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, and relationally. So these are the supporting verses po. Pray for the following verses. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Psalm 90 verse 17 and in Isaiah 58 verse 11, the Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. And in Exodus chapter 12, verses 35 to 36, the Lord caused the Egyptians to look favorably on the Israelites, and they gave the Israelites whatever they asked for. And in Exodus chapter 6, verse 6, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will lead you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and will and with great judgments. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 I will put none of these diseases upon you which I have brought upon the Egyptians for I am the Lord that heals you but he brought his people safety out of Egypt loaded with silver and gold there were no sick or feeble people among them Psalm 105 verse 37 so let me read this spot to you this uh, post from Anwan Jiko. This, uh, she is a prophet from Africa. So she posted the favor of God. When God releases His favor upon you, some people will love you intensely and spare no expense to ensure they support you and help you to become everything God has called you to be to the best of their capacity. But in equal measure, some people will resist you, oppose you, hate you, and disregard you. They too are being triggered by the favor of God on your life, even though it certainly doesn't look that way. Their rejection and dismissal of you is all part of the plan. Just like those who love you intensely are being used by God, those who cannot stand you 
are being used by God to take you to your destiny. Look at it that way and endure the process. It won't always hurt. It, will, it won't always hurt. One day you will testify that even though they meant to hurt you, God was behind the scenes the whole time, making it work for your good. If that wasn't the best pathway for your life, God wouldn't have led you through it. His plans for you his plans for you are for your good and your peace, not evil. Yes, the plans of God for you are for your prosperity, not disaster. Even when He allows you to pass through intense rejection, believe that, cling to God, this too shall pass. So, let us pray po for healing, healing po, divine healing in all aspects of our li- lives po. So, yung connection po nito sa Passover, the same way that the Lord, um, the same way that the Lord delivered the, the Israelites from the Egypt, the same way that the Lord is healing, is healing our hearts, is healing every part of our being, and the same way that the Lord continues to mature us, maturing us in every way, in every part of us, the same uh, in, in spiritual, the same way that our emotions, that our mental aspect, the way we think, our intellect, the way we handle our finances, the way we give, the way we connect with people, our relationships, it will always bring glory to the Lord. It will always, uh, our healing is not for our own uh, own own best or it is not only for us to be kept but our healing is very important especially to where the Lord is taking us our healing healing journey it's like a book our healing journey is like a book it will not make sense now maybe you've experienced some pain some trouble and but but that healing journey is very important because that will be part of your testimony and in your testimony there is the power of God and in your testimony that testimony will be used by God to help other people also to 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 be uh, it will be used by God to to be uh, to be uh, an agent for change and I believe that each and every one of us has that book that healing journey that healing process whatever pain that that cost you from your family from your work from your friends whatever that is the Lord is healing hearts right now is changing minds right now continue tra- transforming minds because that that, that part of your life will be used greatly by the Lord. Just believe um, there is no small testimony or great testimony in this world where heroic acts of kindness or big testimony are being uh, where people are very, are drawn. Don't don't flip or don't uh, don't flip or don't be shy or don't don't try to cover your your testimony just because you think that it's not that big or or that's not uh uh yung mga naririnig natin na very gigantic uh, testimony because that testimony may be the the testimony from insecurity to being secured in your in your uh, identity in the Lord from from being fearful to being courageous from being from being worrier to being a worshiper that is part of your testimony and let us pray that uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit He will help us to protect that testimony because there is no big, there is no small testimony when the power of the Lord works through you and that is uh, what we need to pray for for one another, pray for divine healing and divine favor in all aspects of our lives, yun po Thank you. 
Sige po, let us pray po. Our Lord, our Jehovah Rapha, Lord, we acknowledge, O God, that you are the God who heals, O God. Lord, we lift up to you, O God, every heart, our hearts right now, O God, our minds, O God, our whole being to you right now, O Lord Jesus Christ, just like an open book. God, you you know what we are thinking, you know what's inside our hearts, oh God. Lord, right now po Panginoon, we just pray po Panginoon for for those, oh God, experiencing po Panginoon physical uh, illnesses po Panginoon. Lord, we pray po Panginoon and we declare for their healing, oh Lord Jesus Christ, oh God. Lord, you, you, you have said in thy word, oh Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, that 
your wounds po, Panginoon. By your wounds, oh God, we are healed, O Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, whatever sicknesses, oh God, sicknesses of the body, sicknesses of mind, heart issues, oh God, um, re reproductive uh, system issues po, Panginoon, digestive, gut health, O Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, O God, for healing to be upon each and every one of us, O God, especially those who are watching, O God. Lord, we pray po, Panginoon, for... for uh, healing, O God, of our physical bodies, O God. Lord, teach us, O God. Teach us, po, Pang, on how to take care, O Lord Jesus, of our physical bodies, O God. Lord, teach us, O God, on how to move, O God, from where we are right now, O Lord Jesus Christ. And take us, O God, to where you want us to be, O God, concerning, O God, on taking care of our bodies, O God. Lord, we pray, O God, na... Would you uh, change, O Lord Jesus, the way we perceive things, O God, concerning our physical body, O God, that, Lord, this temple, O God, the same way that you are using, po, Panginoon, our, uh, our talents, our uh, desires, O God, and everything in us, po, Panginoon, help us, O God, to see, O God, that this temple, O Lord Jesus, should be taken care of, O God. Lord, help us to see, po, Panginoon, that we should... Uh, we should love, O Lord Jesus Christ, the same way, O God, that you that you love us, O God. Help us, O Lord Jesus Christ, O God, to also take care and love our uh, being, po, Panginoon, our bodies, po, Panginoon, to take care of it, po, Panginoon, and help us, po, Panginoon, to have a healthy uh, relationship with food, O God. Lord, help us, po, Panginoon, na... na Turuan mo po kami, O Lord Jesus, how to, how to give you glory, whether we eat, O God, whether we drink po, Panginoon. May we do it po, Panginoon, for your glory, O Lord Jesus. And Lord, uh, concerning, O God, every bone, O Lord Jesus Christ, every tendon, every joints, O God, that needs healing po, Panginoon. Lord, we declare po, Panginoon, O God, would you, would you, would your healing water po, Panginoon, flow from, from your throne, O God, down to where we are right now, O God and just heal po, Panginoon, every, every bone, O God, every joints, O God, that is hurting right now po, Panginoon. We declare, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we ask po, Panginoon, for your healing po, Panginoon, and we receive it by faith, O God. Lord, we also pray po, Panginoon, for, for, um, sicknesses po, Pan, concerning high blood pressure, O God, concerning po, Panginoon, um, any defect po, Panginoon, in our systems, O God, Lord, we pray and we declare for healing, O God. Lord, we also pray po, Panginoon, that uh, for us po, Panginoon, to have an emotionally and mental healthy state po, Panginoon, may we think po, Panginoon, of things that are praiseworthy, O God, which is true po, Panginoon, which is noble po, Panginoon, may we think of such things, O God, whatever is true po, Panginoon, whatever is noble, O God, whatever is praiseworthy, O God, whatever po, Panginoon, mga thoughts na makalangit po, Panginoon, may we think of such things, O God, and may, and when we are tempted, O God, to think the other way, O Lord Jesus Christ, teach us, O Holy Spirit, O God, how to get back on the path po, Panginoon. Lord, help us, O Lord Jesus Christ, O God, remove po, Panginoon, any anything po, Panginoon, concerning our minds po, Panginoon, any thoughts, O God, that doesn't, that will not help po, Panginoon, in fulfilling po, Panginoon, our destiny, O God, and also in advancing your kingdom po, Panginoon. May we uh, change change our thinking, O God, from being self-centered po, Panginoon, to, to thinking po, Panginoon, of you po, Panginoon, to to thinking po, Panginoon, of other people, O Lord Jesus. Change our thinking po, Panginoon from uh, negativity po, Panginoon, into, into uh, word-based uh, mindset po, Panginoon. Your word only po, Panginoon. Help us to meditate po, Panginoon, your word day and night, O God. Lord, help also us po, Panginoon, to stand po, Panginoon, in honesty and authenticity, O God, that we will be authentic before you, O Lord Jesus. We will be honest before you and also to other people, O God. Lord, um, for, uh, Help us po, Panginoon, not to, not to dwell po, Panginoon, on, on this image po, Panginoon, of perfect Christianity, O Lord Jesus Christ, O God. Help us po, Panginoon, not to, not to use you, O God, to run from, from God, O God, or to use, O God, the ministry to cover up our inner, 
inner cracks, oh God, not to use the ministry, oh God, to 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 hide, oh Lord Jesus Christ, any unhealed areas of our lives, oh God. May we never use the programs, po Panginoon, that you have laid down, po Panginoon, in your church, oh God, as an excuse, po Panginoon, or as a, a band-aid, oh God, to our inner uh, cracks, po Panginoon. Lord, we thank you, po Panginoon, that even now, you are healing hearts, oh God. You are changing our hearts, po Panginoon. And Lord, we also pray, po Panginoon, na Uh, whatever that is po Panginoon, what you are dealing with us po Panginoon, whether po Panginoon in the areas of our families, oh God, in the areas of work, oh God, in school oh Lord Jesus, in our relationship with uh, with others, oh God or husband or wife, oh God or children po Panginoon, Lord we believe, oh God, that you are in the process po Panginoon of mending hearts po Panginoon, that you will turn the hearts of the father po pan, of the parents to their children, oh God God, and the children to their parents po Panginoon. Lord, we pray po Panginoon na Um, as you change our hearts, O God, as you change our minds, O God, as you change po Panginoon our thinking, O God, Lord, we pray po Panginoon that we now we will now stop, O Lord Jesus, dying to the wrong things, O God. Lord, we will now stop po Panginoon doing things po Panginoon uh, in our own effort or or our own uh, with with our own agenda, with our own motives po Panginoon. But we will, but the sole reason po Panginoon, why we do things po Panginoon is to bring you glory, O God. Lord, we also pray po Panginoon for healing, O Lord Jesus Christ po Panginoon for the past hurts, for the past pain, O God. We know, O Lord Jesus Christ, that it has a purpose, O God, but you do not call us po Panginoon to meditate on the pain, O God. You do not call us, O Lord Jesus Christ, O God, to dwell on the pain, O God. Lord, whatever that is, the words that has been spoken over us, O God, by other people, by our parents, po Panginoon, or by by our family members, oh God. Lord, we pray, po Panginoon, would you heal our hearts, oh God. Would you heal our minds, po Panginoon. Would you heal, po Panginoon, our hearts, po Panginoon, our innermost being, po Panginoon. Lord, we pray also, po Panginoon, na Whatever pain po pang we have experienced from the past, O oh God, we know, O Lord Jesus, that you are going to heal those those hurts and pain, O oh God. Lord, help us po pang na uh, see things po pang on the way you want us to see it po pang on. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po pang on that even now, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, you're also healing and teaching us po pang on how to handle our finances well po pang on. That Lord, we will be a uh, cheerful giver po Panginoon, not just to other people but especially po Panginoon in your kingdom po Panginoon. Lord we pray po Panginoon and we declare that this family po Panginoon the Kingdom for Warders Ministries International po Panginoon, we declare that they are a cheerful giver po Panginoon. We declare po Panginoon that uh That you will be the one po Panginoon to supply po Panginoon whatever we need po Panginoon. Whether it's uh, personal po Panginoon or corporate po Panginoon. Lord, you will be the one to provide, O God. So teach us po Panginoon uh, to see our finances, O God. Not as our own, O God. But but it is yours po Panginoon, O God. Lord, help us po Panginoon not to na to think po Panginoon na sa amin po Panginoon ang mga bagay na ibinibigay mo po Panginoon it is not meant to stay with us or or to to just flow po Panginoon sa amin but it is meant to overflow oh God may we be the same way oh God that we are praying oh God for blessing oh God may we be also po Panginoon first a blessing to to others po Panginoon Lord maraming maraming salamat po Panginoon and we We thank you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, O oh God, for healing po pang in every heart, every mind, every physical body right now po pang in hoon. Lord, we thank you, O oh God. Let your tenderness and love po pang in hoon just continue po pang in hoon to flow inside our hearts, inside our minds, and inside po pang in hoon, our being po pang in hoon. And for those who are spiritually dry, O Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray po pang in hoon for... Uh, 
a satisfaction po, Panginoon, that you will satisfy po, Pan, their thirst po, Panginoon. You will be the one to water that dryness po, Panginoon. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Ignite the fire once again in our hearts, in our being po, Panginoon, to serve you fully po, Panginoon. Lord, remind us po, Panginoon, of where we started, O God. Remind us once again po, Panginoon, of where we we began po, Panginoon. May we never forget po, Panginoon, of of the sweet moments, O God, of the of the secret moments spent po, Panginoon, in the secret place with you po, Panginoon. Lord, help us po, Panginoon, to, to, to know you even more, O God, to know you deeper po, Pan, more than being our provider, more than being our healer, more than being our friend, more than being our, our uh, redeemer, O God. Help us to know you more and more, O God, to who you are solely po, Panginoon, to kung sino ka po, Panginoon, bilang Diyos namin po, Panginoon. Help us to know you more, what's inside your heart, what you want us to speak, what you want us to, to do po, Panginoon. Help us to know you more po, Panginoon. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. And uh, cover us, O God, with your with your blood, O God, from the top of our head down to the soles of our feet, O God, for there is power in your blood, O God, and we receive, O Lord Jesus, the benefits of your blood, O God. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po. Once again, we thank you, our Father, O God. We thank you, Holy Spirit, and we thank you, our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, O God, and we seal this prayer with your precious blood, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Sige po, let us declare. As one forwarding family, we decree Psalm 84:11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does He withhold from those whose walk is blameless. We decree and declare Psalm 90:70. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. We decree and declare Proverbs 3 verses 1 to 4. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. As one for awarding family, we decree and declare James 5 verse 15. And James, and the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. We decree and declare 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. We decree and declare Jeremiah 30 verse 17. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Sige po, let us respond po with this song po. People, let's sing this song. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. the 
Your love. 
Yes, Lord, we thank you, O God, and we receive your love, O Lord Jesus, a love that melts, O God, and breaks uh, any bandages, O God, or strongholds, O Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, O God, for for your tenderness, for your loving mercy, loving kindness, O God. Lord, we thank you, O God, for changing everyone from uh, us, po Panginoon, from glory to glory, O God. Lord, as one family, po Panginoon, Lord, we we will walk this life, O Lord Jesus Christ. We will journey together, O God, in this healing, O God, in this healing journey, po Panginoon. The healing of hearts, O God, the healing of minds, the healing of physical body, O God, the healing of relationships, the healing, po Panginoon, even our finances, po Panginoon. We will journey this life, O God, as one family, O God. Lord, help us, O God, to be gentle, O Lord Jesus, to be merciful and patient with one another, O Oh God, Lord, we may not know, O oh God, whatever uh, each and every one is carrying, po Panginoon, whatever they are thinking of, O oh God, whatever problem they are facing, O oh God, but we believe, O oh Lord Jesus, we only trust, O oh God, your wonder-working power, O oh God, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, O oh God. You will always be with us, po Panginoon, whatever season we are in, whatever uh, circumstances or mountains we will face, O oh God, one thing is for sure, O oh God, that you are our Emmanuel. You are with us po, Panginoon. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. And there's nothing that we can do or we can say po, Panginoon. It's to just thank you. Thank you for your love, O God. Thank you, O Lord Jesus, for binding us together in love, O God. Thank you po, Panginoon. And we seal, O Lord Jesus, this prayer, O God with your precious blood. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Number three, po. Let us pray for the destiny and nation of Israel. Let us pray for divine protection, protection and safety upon Jerusalem and the Israeli Knesset. Let us also pray according to Psalm 91. And let us also pray according to Leviticus chapter 23, verse 4 to 5. Sorry, po, di ko na po nalagay dyan po yung verse. Leviticus 20, chapter 23, verse 4 to 5. It says that these are the feasts of the Lord, holy, conv holy convocations which you, which you shall proclaim at their appointed times. On the 14th day of the first month at twilight evening is the Lord's Passover. Passover is one of the appointed feasts of the Lord. Our Lord Jesus also celebrated this Passover. Passover in Hebrew is Pesach. It was timely po because for the past few days, um, there were several rockets, there were se several um, missiles that was thrown upon the nation of Israel. There were several missiles that was thrown upon the nation of Israel by some other nations and some terrorist group. Let us pray for also for the peace of Jerusalem, for the peace of Israel. During, um, during Passover, we remember the salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ and the blood of the Lamb. We, we believe that as the Lord Jesus um, just as the Lord Jesus protected the children of Israelite in the nation of Israel during Passover by the blood of the Lamb, our Lord Jesus is, was also um, will also be able to protect the nation of Israel by the blood of the Lamb. In 
this coming feast of, feast of Passover, let us give thanks to the Lord for His blood and the finished work of the cross. Tomorrow po is the start of Passover. Tomorrow um, evening. Let us remember the love of Jesus, His blood that was shed on the cross for our redemption and salvation. The Lord, our Lord Jesus loved His bride that His blood was shed on the cross His body was broken. Um, sige po, kuha po kayo ng prayer partner. Baitus po. Let this be our declaration to our prayer partner this coming feast of Passover. Sige po, meron na po kayong prayer partner. Sige po, declare this po to your beloved prayer partner. Beloved forwarding bride of Christ, You are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Sa kabilang partner, prayer partner naman po. Beloved forwarding bride of Christ, You are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Beloved forwarding bride of Christ, Happy Feast of Passover. Happy Passover. See po, in the Jewish wedding po, Passover is also related to the Jewish wedding. When the bride and the bridegroom was about to get married, the bridegroom, the father of the bridegroom, and the bridegroom will go to the house of the bride. During this betrothal period, there were three things that the bride, that the bride, the father of the bridegroom, And the bridegroom would bring to the house of the bride. Yung katuba, which is the marriage contract, um, our katuba is our Bible. It contains the written promises of God. It is filled with the promises of God. And the bridegroom would, would also bring um, wine and dowry. There, were, there was also a bridal price. In the Jewish wedding, it was the father of the bride who determines the bridal price. It symbolizes the worth or value of the bride. The bridal price was the blood of Jesus. The bridal price was costly, that it involves that on the cross, sufferings, tortured, scourging, mocking. But our Lord Jesus was willing to pay this bridal price for you, for us, his, his bride, for us to be saved, and for us to have eternal life. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13, it says that, But now in Christ Jesus, you, you who once were far afar, were far off, had been brought near by the blood of Christ. We are purchased by the blood of Jesus. That is how the Lord valued and loved you, loved you as His bride. That Jesus paid the ultimate price for you, His blood. After the bridal price was determined by the, um, by the, after the bridal price was negotiated, during the dinner, the father of the bridegroom will pour the wine on the cup and pass it on the on the bridegroom and the bridegroom would and the bridegroom would offer it to the bride when the bride accept the wine ay hindi muna pala the bridegroom would drink the wine muna then the bride the bridegroom would offer it to the to the bride when the bride drink the drink the, the wine accepted the proposal of the bride. Um, 
there was a choice whether he will drink the cup of the wine or not. But when the bride, the bride to be drink the, the cup of the wine, it was a sign that um, that they, na yung sa feeling proposal ng ng bridegroom. This was like just a marriage proposal where 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 the bridegroom is proposing to the bride. Ayun po, the, the, the blood of Jesus is the bridal price. There were also, um, the blood of Jesus also symbolizes protection. During the NPG po, naalala ko yung sabi ni Prophet Sadu, na in the last days, our protection was in the blood of the Lamb. In the Old Testament, if the blood of the lamb, the animals cleanses, cleanses the cleanses and purifies, how much more the blood of Jesus? It cleanses, it purifies, it washes us, it saves, it protects, it redeems. In the end times, there were um, several challenges. May mga may mga wars, famines, at kung ano ano mga balita, mga news na kung ano ano. But um, the Lord assures you. That you are protected by the blood of the Lamb. That the remnant will be protected by the blood of Jesus. Na even though there are plagues happening around the, na- the nation, you will, you will be set apart. The plagues will not touch you. You are under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Sige po, let us pray po for um, Israel and let us also give things for for his blood and his body that was broken by ano po by trees
beloved family po, let us stand po and let us worship the Lord. Let us worship and praise the Lord. Beloved, forwarding bride of Christ as we sing this song to the, to the bridegroom King, our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive His Receive His love. Receive the love of our Lord Jesus. Receive His blood. As we sing this song to the bridegroom King, receive the love, the love of the Lamb. Just allow our Lord Jesus to love you. Allow our Passover love to shower you with this love. Allow the Lamb of God to fill your heart with love. As we sing this song, allow the Lord to love you with, with His love with His everlasting love. Beloved forwarding bride of Christ, you are deeply loved by our Lord Jesus Christ. That His blood was shed for you. His body was broken for you. You are loved by the Lamb. While on the cross, enduring all the pain and the sufferings, beloved, you are on his mind. You are on the mind and heart of our Lord Jesus, for he is so in love with you. Bride of Christ, our Lord Jesus is in love with you. That His blood was shed for you, for all of us to have eternal life. Place laid inside the tomb of sin. 
You were buried for three days But then you walk right out again Now death has no sting And life has no end Thank you Lord Jesus for the blood of for the Lamb For I have been transformed By the blood of the Lamb There is power in the blood of the Lamb Thank you Jesus for the blood of blood Thank you Lord Jesus for the blood of the Lamb Thank you Jesus He has washed me white That is in your blood. Me from the darkness to glory. For the salvation that is in your blood. There is nothing stronger than the one of God. We receive the blood of our Lord Jesus. Apply the blood of Jesus in your life. Bleed the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus upon your life, upon your family. We bleed the blood of the Lamb upon this land. We bleed the blood of our Lord Jesus upon this house of prayer. For this land is redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. For this land is married unto the Lord Jesus. That this land belongs to you, Lord. Father, that we're redeeming this land, this house of prayer, by the blood of the Lamb. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We need the blood of the Lamb upon every every children, upon every babies. We need the blood of the Lamb. Upon every parent, upon every son and daughter, we plead the blood of the Lamb. Upon every bride of Christ, we plead the blood of the Lamb. At every house of praise, we plead the blood of the Lamb. Upon the doorposts of this house of prayer. We see the blood of the Lamb upon every doorpost of our home, upon every doorpost of the home of beloved. We plead the blood of the Lamb upon our health. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for redeeming every organ. That every destroyed organ is now redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. That every damaged liver, damaged kidneys, damaged heart is redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Is sealed by the blood of the Lamb. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that every tumor, oh God, is appeared in the blood of the Lamb. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that every broken, broken ligament in the body is now being repaired by the blood of the Lamb. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that every asthma, blood pressure, oh God, blood pressure is being normal, normalized by the blood of the Lamb. Jesus, Jesus, that every digestive system, reproductive organs, is being healed by the blood of the Lamb. Has washed me white. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the new lungs, O God. That every destroyed lungs, O God, is being redeemed. May the blood of the Lamb. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We bleed the blood of Jesus upon the eight pillars, O God. 
We plead the blood of the Lamb upon every businesses, O God. Upon the pillar of business and economy, O God. We plead the blood of the Lamb upon science and technology, O God. We plead the blood of the Lamb upon the pillar of church, O God. Upon your ecclesia, O God. We plead the blood of the blood of the Lamb. Upon the pillar of education, O God. Upon every teacher's Panginoon. Upon every student, O Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for protecting your sons and daughters, O God, in this pillar, O God. We plead the blood of the Lamb. Upon the pillar of government, O God. Upon the legislative, legislative, O God. The executive branch, Panginoon. The judiciary government, Panginoon. Upon your sons and daughters in the government, O God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that they are being marred by the blood of the Lamb. Jesus is enough. We plead the blood of Jesus in the middle of those who are struggling. We plead the blood of the Lamb. When I'm hurting upon the body, upon the soul, upon the heart, upon the body, mind, soul, oh God. Jesus is enough. We plead the blood of the Lamb, oh God. Upon those who are struggling with depression, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for, for protecting them, oh God, with your, with your love. Hopeless and broken, your blood is enough. Yeah. Your blood is more than enough, oh God. Jesus is enough. You are more than enough, Lord Jesus. Your blood is enough. We plead the blood of the Lamb upon this city, oh God. Upon the gospel city, Panginoon. of the Lamb upon the 70 barangays of Legazpi, Panginoon. Jesus is enough. We plead the blood of the Lamb, O God. Upon the city hall, O God. We plead the blood of the Lamb, O God. Upon Albay Capitol, O God. Every university is Panginoon. Thank you, Lord Jesus, O God, for the preservation of destiny, Panginoon. It's renewing my story, saving and healing, delivering captives, setting us free. of the Lamb upon the Son, Messiah sent me the now. We plead the blood of the Lamb upon every tribe, upon every nation, upon every tongue. We plead the blood of Jesus upon those who are calling your name. Is it winning? We plead the blood of Jesus upon the servants and vessels of God, upon the missionaries, Panginoon. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the missionaries, O God, who, who are spreading your gospel, O God, in the dangerous places, Panginoon. It's 
Upon the prayer team, Panginoon, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Upon every child of God, we plead the blood of Jesus. Upon Alban, Katando Anes, Kamarinis Sur, Kamarinis Norte, Masbate, Sur Sogon. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that this place is covered by the blood of the Lamb. We plead the blood of the Lamb upon the harvest, O God, upon the harvest that is coming, Panginoon. the blood of the Lamb upon those who are pregnant. We plead the blood of the Lamb upon the doorposts of, of every Jewish people, O oh God. Upon Israel, O oh God. We plead the blood of the Lamb upon Jerusalem, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That they are protected, O oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the remnants of Israel, O oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus upon every OFWs, O oh God. OFWs, Panginoon. Lord Jesus, in this Passover, O God, open the eyes, O God, of every Jewish people, Panginoon. Open their eyes, O God, that they will see the, the, blood, the Lamb, O God, who takes away the sins of the world. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. In this Passover, O oh God, open the heart of every cherished people to you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for setting free every home oh God that is being held by the terrorist group oh God thank you Lord Jesus in this Passover oh God you will release Panginoon every hostages oh God that they will be set free Panginoon the hostages will be set free Panginoon from the hands of the enemies Jesus, for the blood of the Lamb, Panginoon, Lord, that breaks every generational curse, Panginoon. That every generational curse, Panginoon, will no longer work, O God, upon your ecclesia, O God, upon your sons and daughters, Panginoon. Every generational sickness, Panginoon, Lord, is being cancelled by the blood of the Lamb. Every generational sickness, O oh God, is now broken, O oh God, by the blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name. For you want us, O oh God, to have, to have oneness, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
that it is your will, O God, for your children to be whole, O God, to be healthy, Panginoon. We plead the blood of the Lamb, O God, upon those who are in the ICUs, O God, upon those who are calling the name of Jesus, O God, for those who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved, O God. We plead the blood of Jesus upon them, O God. Upon those who are hopeless, O God. Upon every hospital, O God. We plead the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That this blood, O God, is powerful, O God. That this blood, O God, contains your love, O God. That this blood, O God, contains healing, O God. Contains deliverance, O God. Contains salvation, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord Jesus. of Christ is being cleansed, O oh God, is being washed by the blood of the Lamb.
Allow the Lord to renew your body. Allow the Lord to renew. To renew you. As we sing this song, allow the Lord to work in you. Allow the Lord to heal your broken heart. It's renewing and restoring. As we sing this song, Allow the Lord of the Lamb. The Lord, beloved forwarding bride of Christ, the Lord is marking you with the blood of the Lamb. Every children is being marked by the blood of the Lamb. Every youth is being marked by the blood of the Lamb. Every elder is being marked by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, beloved forwarding bride of Christ. Let us take a moment to just listen to his heart. Listen to his heart, for he is speaking to you.
thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Abba Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the salvation, the redemption, O God, the restoration, O God, that you have provided on the cross, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blood, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord Jesus, our Passover lamb, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. We thank you, Father. We give you back all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us declare for the following declarations. forwarding family we decree and declare Psalm 46 verse 1 and 7 upon the nation of Israel God is our refuge and strength a very present help in times of trouble for the Lord of hosts is with us the God of Jacob is our refuge we declare that no weapon formed against the nation of Israel shall pr prosper in Jesus name Amen we declare that Jerusalem is covered by the blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name, Amen. As one forwarding family, we decree and declare the bar shalom upon the nation of Israel and the Israeli Knesset. In Jesus' name, Amen. We declare that the divine blueprints and destiny of God upon Israel and every nation shall prevail. In Jesus' name, Amen. We declare Philippians chapter 1, verse 6 upon the nation of Israel that he who began a good word in us will complete it until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. To God be all the glory. Let us declare for the Jubilee Eddie. Today, 12 years since the proclamation of the year of Jubilee for the Philippines at Cebu, we as representatives of the body of Christ, the kingdom citizens of the Philippines, boldly proclaim that by the mercies and compassion of God, the appointed time of the Lord's favor has come upon us and our beloved nation, the Philippines. We proclaim the new things of God for the Philippines to spring forth in our jubilee season. United with Christ's death and resurrection, we declare we are seated with Christ in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. And with this authority that we have in Christ Jesus, we revoke every ungodly decree against our nation. And in Christ's name, we decree and declare the salvation of God upon our nation. We cancel every decree and erase every record the enemy has against our nation that keeps the Filipino people in bondage and captive to idolatry of gods and men, witchcraft and occultic practices, violence and bloodshed, every form of addiction, regionalistic mindset, and poverty mentality. We nail everything written against the Filipino people at the cross of Jesus Christ. Through the authority of the risen Christ, we decree and declare freedom to the Filipino people who are now set free to serve and worship the resurrected and exalted Christ with clean hands and pure heart and in unity with one another. We cancel every decree and erase every record the enemy has against the Filipino family to destroy marriage relationships, severe husband's relationship with wife and the father's relationship with the children to cause rebellion against parental authority, to bring brokenness, hurts, and pains in the home. We nail everything written against the Filipino family at the cross of Jesus Christ. Through the authority of the risen Christ, we decree and declare freedom to the Filipino family, healing and restoration of marriage relationships, honoring of parents, faithfulness in fulfilling godly roles and responsibilities in the home, and the rebuilding of family altars making home every home a house of prayer we cancel every decree and erase every record the enemy has against the filipino church to sow discord among the brethren 
make up churches and alienate pastors to their members to prevent the church from walking in her true spiritual authority through false and incomplete teachings and to disqualify her from her calling through the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the boastful pride of life. We nail everything written against the Filipino church at the cross of Jesus Christ. Through the authority of the risen Christ, we decree and declare freedom to the Filipino church. We declare the unity of the body of Christ in the Philippines, the restoration of the apostolic and prophetic full anointing in the body of Christ, and the identity of the bride Philippine Church as the bride of Christ. We receive the promised outpouring of the Holy Spirit and God's glory upon the nation, which will result in a massive evangelization and discipleship of the nation. We cancel every decree and erase every record the enemy has to rule with a scepter of wickedness, lawlessness, and corruption over our nation because of negative oaths and covenants, occultic and witchcraft practices made by the founding fathers and leaders of the Republic of the Philippines. We nail at the cross everything written against the Republic of the Philippines through the authority of the risen Christ. We decree and declare the removal of the scepter of wickedness over the land and we establish Jesus' scepter of righteousness to rule and reign over the Republic of the Philippines and the rule of law will be implemented and will prevail over the land through the 1987 Constitution. We cancel every decree and erase every record the enemy as that allows its wicked forces to destroy the Philippine economy, to steal and plunder the Philippine natural resources and wealth and to cause destructive disasters bringing great loss, damage and devastation to life and property. We nail at the cross everything written against the Philippine economy and its natural resources and wealth. Through the authority of the risen Christ, we decree and declare restoration of everything the enemy has stolen, the release of resources, skills and inventions that will elevate the poor, divine protection from natural calamities and overflowing blessing so that the Philippines will be a blessing to other nations. We cancel every decree and erase every record the dragon spirit as against the Philippines through ancient covenants and treaties and modern-day agreements made by our forefathers and present leaders with Chinese rulers. We nail at the cross everything written against our nation that allows the dragon spirit to hinder and delay the fulfillment of our nation's destiny. Through the authority of the risen Christ, we decree and declare freedom from every hold of the dragon spirit in our nation's political, economic, socio-cultural life and territorial boundaries. We decree the deployment of God's might angelic forces to secure the nation's territorial boundaries and natural resources respond quickly to, threat, to every threat from the dragon spirit to hinder God's plan for the Philippines. We cancel every decree and erase every record the enemy has against the Philippines for issuing a policy statement in November 18, 1973, condemning Israel's occupation of Arab lands as an act of aggression and declaring Philippine support for UN Security Council Resolution No. 247, dated 22 November 1967, calling for the withdrawal of Israeli forces from all occupied Arab territories. We nail at the cross everything written against the Philippines for all its stand and position against Israel. Through the authority of the risen Christ, we decree and declare that the Philippines will always be a friend and supporter of Israel, especially in these end times. We declare that by the blood of Jesus, Jubilee is decreed for the Filipino people and the nation to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the Most Holy. This is the season of the manifestation of God's favor, where all works of darkness will no longer work against our destiny. And now we proclaim the acceleration of the fulfillment of our nation's destiny as a righteous, prosperous, and missionary sending nation. Praise the Lord, beloved family. 
Glory to God for your life. Napakabuti ng Diyos. Sarap makikipag-commune sa Lord, no? Nakakapag-communicate tayo sa Panginoon. So let us prepare our hearts for our communion. So, so we plead the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus is enough for us. Amen po. So this time, say to your neighbor, We are victorious. And give a smile. Kayo na pa tayo ganun na ganun. Very serious talaga. So smile naman tayo lahat. Opo, smile naman. Okay? So, are you prepared now? Sa communion. Beloved family, these are the things we should remember. And mark this. Mark this. If we choose victory and we say we are victorious because we have Jesus in our lives, you may have it as a gift from the Lord. The, victory, the victorious life is a gift received from God by faith. Do you agree? Amen. If you say you are saved, then you are delivered from sin because salvation is deliverance. Beloved, or brothers and sisters, don't fight sin. You can't. Instead, yield to a more powerful force, the power of the resurrected Christ. Our salvation was a gift. We did not deserve it or earn it in the least. Victory is also a gift. We cannot attain it in our own strength. That is impossible. Victory is the work of the Savior in us, not our accomplishment. One qualification that you must have for the victorious life is the broken opinion, meaning broken nature, uttermost weakness. Surely we can qualify. The secret of victory is in the indwelling Christ. Victory is in trusting, not trying. I believe that the secret of the victorious life is our identification with Christ. We live for Christ. We die for Christ. Romans 6.8 says, We believe that we shall also live with Him. Romans 6.10 The death He died, He died to sin once for all. But the life He lives, He lives to God. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The secret is that the indwelling Christ lives in the heart and the life of its believer for the purpose of becoming Lord and Master of our lives. Colossians 1.27 Christ in you, the hope of glory. I am dead, we are dead, and the living Christ lives and rules in our yielded body and gains constant triumphant victory for us, for us, for me. If it is true that I am dead to sin with Christ, then there is only one thing for me to do, and that is to yield myself to God. Beloved, assume, assume your new position by faith. Alive from the dead, you are now living on resurrection ground, on the victory side of the cross. You are with resurrected Christ. Begin today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love for us. You are so good to us. We thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. We thank you for your precious blood that you have purchased and redeemed from, for us, Lord. Thank you so much for loving us. You're, you're, you're so wonderful to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us now distribute the bread and wine.
Corinthians 11, 23 For I receive from the Lord what I also pass on to you The Lord Jesus on the night He was betrayed He was betrayed took bread and said This is my body which is for you Do this in remembrance of me Let's eat the bread the same way after supper he took the cup he took the cup saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood in my blood drink in remembrance of me for whatever you drink for whatever you eat and drink in remembrance of me for whatever you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's drink. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Announcement po. May family equipping po tayo this afternoon at 2 o'clock. And meron po tayong food after this. Thank you. Amen. Are you blessed po? See po, once again, let us worship the Lord.
Po. Yes, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the victory, Panginoon, na binigay niyo po sa amin, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the blood of Jesus, Panginoon, that's, that speaks a better word, Lord God. Lord God, we receive the healing of our body, of our mind, and of our soul and spirit, Panginoon, na Lord God, there will be no sickness sa amin, Panginoon. Lord God, we cancel every disease, Panginoon. And Lord God, may you cover each and every one, Panginoon, by the blood of Jesus, Panginoon, na walang um, viruses, Panginoon, na makakadapo sa body ng every beloved, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord God, for for your love and mercy, Panginoon, for every beloved, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord God. We give back to you all the glory, the honor, and the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you, let us declare the prophetic declaration. The Lord bless and keep me. The Lord make His face shine upon me and be gracious to me. The Lord lift up His countenance upon me and give me peace. I will glorify the name of the Lord in my life, before my family, before my friends, and before everyone else, whether they be believers or unbelievers. And to God be the glory. Amen.